Thanks to the support of everyone that watches my videos, I was able to purchase the EdgeMax router light. Now, this little router here is very, very powerful. And if you stick around, I will show you what it can actually do. You know what time it is. So the Edge Router Lite is a router from a company called Ubiquity. And they make a lot of Wi-Fi products. You may have seen it on Linus Tech Tips. But this particular router is very small and it's meant for prosumer, I would guess. But just because it's small, it doesn't mean that it's lacking in features. Rewind a year or two ago, I had an ADSL connection here that was running at five megabits per second. Now that's megabits, so you're looking at about, it, it's not correct, but it's 500 kilobytes per second, you might as well say. So I work from home and I needed a faster internet connection. So what I did is I installed a second phone line purely for a second ADSL connection. And what I was going to do is I was going to combine those two telephone lines into one connection using load balancing. After doing my own research and looking at a few other YouTubers videos, in particular Barnacles, I came up with the R470T+. Now, this is a load balancing broadband router. And what that means is that it will take my two internet connections and make them into, or make it look like I've got one internet connection. So in theory, combining two five megabit per second connections into a 10 megabit per second connection. And in theory it works. However, there are a couple little downsides to it and that's got to do with certain websites out there not liking the fact that you're broadcasting two IP addresses. But this can all be fixed up with a little bit of policy routing. And policy routing is just saying, if you go to this website, then only use this internet connection. So with that out of the way, the R470T Plus was a really great load balancer. And it worked great for Jerry over at Barnacle's Nergasm as well. However, in the last two months, my area in particular was upgraded to what in Australia they call the National Broadband Network. In all honesty, it's a huge political mess. It did start out as being fiber straight to the house or straight to the premises. But in the end, they cheaped out and went with copper technology. So they're using a technology called fiber to the node. But luck would have it, I am pretty much right outside where the copper starts. So after that little talk about the NBN, basically my two ADSL connections were eligible to be upgraded to the new NBN connection. And with the tech head that I am, I wasn't gonna settle for the, the lower tier speeds, I wanted the maximum. So I went for two 100 megabit down and 40 megabit up connections. So in essence, I would have a 200 over 80 internet connection straight here at home. But there was one problem with the TP-Link R470T Plus, and that is it only supports 10100 ports. So I was able to get the full upload speed, but when it came to download speed, I was capped at that 100 megabit. So after talking on Facebook with a buddy of mine who deals in networking, he recommended that I should have a look at the Ubiquity routers. So I did my own independent research and I found that they do offer gigabit speed ethernet ports and they do support load balancing. So after I jumped onto Amazon and ordered the product, I waited and in Australia, it came within seven days. That included a weekend. So really it only took five days to get here, which in my opinion is amazing considering you order things in Australia and sometimes it will take a week to get here as it is. So once it arrived on my doorstep, I set it all up and lo and behold, Look at these internet speeds. So like I was mentioning, what happens is that the edge router light takes the data and tries to split it in between the two internet connections. But this only works if the website supports it or uses different ports. So for example, with uh, Steam and YouTube, I find that I can get really good speeds out of those two sites. But load balancing is just touching the surface on what this router can actually do. So inside it's got a dual core processor, it has 512 megabytes of RAM and two gigabytes of storage. Now this might seem overkill to a lot of people, however, with that much storage on board, you can do a lot of different things. And one thing in particular that I'm going to set up is an open VPN script that will run from my phone through the router and allow me to select which devices based on their IP address should be using the VPN connection. So in a nutshell, I can say, okay, the Apple TV upstairs, 
I want it to be running on a VPN through America and no other device in the house will be affected. So that's all possible due to the fact that you can access the internal Linux system or Linux based system, I should say, from a command line interface. So with that said, I'm only just touching on the surface of what this edge router light can do. So if you're looking for a load balanced router, then I highly recommend the edge router light from Ubiquity. You can find a link for this down in the description below. And if you've got any comments or you wanna ask me any questions about this router in particular, then ask away down below and I will answer them as quickly as I can. Well, that's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up or even leave a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to this channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.